May 26, 2010. This is Connie Mason, interviewer, and I will be interviewing Phyllis Gentry of Moorhead City concerning Cape Lookout. Her family owned a house uh, in the village. Um, she was a small child when she uh, lived on the Cape, but she has many photographs uh, of the area. So a lot of this tape interview will be descriptions of those photographs, which I will copy later because it's a wet, rainy day today. But we will be meeting at her house in Moorhead City. It's May 26, year 2010, and I'm talking with Phyllis Gentry. Uh, her parents own, built and owned a home, the old Boyle Bright House, at Cape Lookout. Phyllis. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me here today. You're welcome. I appreciate you coming. Oh, this is, is exciting. Okay. Uh, well, listen, tell me, um, tell me the story of your connection with the Cape. Okay, my father was in the Navy, mm -hmm. the United States Navy. And he got transferred to Cape Lookout in May of 1938. Mm. And about November, he and my mom got married. But he met her when he came ashore for, for like, weekend leave. Passes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, she was from Salter Path, but her family had moved to Moorhead. And like, what was her maiden name? Her maiden name was Adams. Okay. Agatha Adams. And they had moved to Moorhead in 1918 on Shackleford Street. So um, she met him, and they got married in November of 1938. And according to what she said, like they got married today, and tomorrow they moved to the Cape. And they had rented a little cottage from Odell Guthrie from Marshallburg. And after they had been there about six months, Everybody kept telling them they should build their own, so they went ahead and built a little cottage, which I don't th know that you'd want to call it a cottage, but that sounds better than shack or some, <laughs> something worse. Or cabin. Th yeah, cabin, yeah. <laughs> I like the word cottage. Yes, cottage is good. <laughs> anyway, they built this cottage, and they hired two carpenters, and by the time they got it finished and bought their f furnishings from Sears Roebuck, it was five hundred dollars oh for the whole thing, and all I can remember growing up, my mother had pictures of this little cottage, and she always had conch shells around the front doorstep, and I said it was like they were sun bleached because they were real white, and I just thought it was so neat. And everywhere I've been, I've always had conch shells, but I never related this till just in the last few years. It was like. Where did I get the idea of conch shells in my yard? And then I started looking at these pictures again. I said, that's where it was a memory in the back of my head that these conch shells were something she enjoyed. How about that? So You were carrying on a tradition, didn't even know it. Yeah, didn't even know it. <laughs> but she said, um, they lived there, and I see, she moved in 1938, and they he got transferred. My father got transferred in 1941 in April. And... When he first went there, it was called Direction Finders Station. And they gave directions to all ships that came around the uh, Cape, all up and down the United States. And in 1941, they closed all these down. So he was transferred. Where did he, where was he transferred to? Do you remember? Uh, different ships. Oh, okay. Yeah, he went on, because he was mostly on, like, destroyers. And I got you. The, the but war you all stayed out. here? Yeah, we stayed in Moorhead. But the war had broke out, like, in 41, December, so it was, wasn't too, too long after that. But um, my father stayed in the military for 23 years, and at and years later he said he didn't realize it, but at the time... Growing older, he realized that that was his best duty station. Wasn't that neat? I thought, that was so nice because he was from New York State. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know anything about crabbing or oystering or clamming. And Mama taught him all that. And she could fix anything that came out of the ocean or anything that flew. She knew how to clean it and cook it. And they just had the best time going out. I've got a couple of pictures of them crabbing. And it was like... 
you can picture him from New York State. What's a crab? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but these things are, I never thought about them growing up, but now that I have the pictures and I've written a little story about it. Mm -hmm. It's um, That was in the researcher, you said? Yeah. The uh, History Places yes. uh, newsletter. Yeah. I asked Cindy one time if she minded if I used some of this stuff because I guess you have to get permission from them. But she said, yeah, as long as you don't make a lot of money off of it. I thought, <laughs> Shh, I'm not going to make any money anyway. It's just I love to share stories anyway. So. Well, that's the only way we're going to preserve it, you know, yeah, is if we share yeah. it in some, in some form. So, well, let's let's take a look at your pictures here. Okay. Uh, let me show you this book here. This is my dad's book. And this is the first of, this was a, I guess you'd call it a Christmas card. It has a picture over oh, here, snow yeah. and everything. It's a season's greetings. Yeah, and this was the men that were at Cape Lookout at this time. I, get, I don't know if this was 38 or 40, 41, mm -hmm. but um, this was the men. And this man here, C.T. Hooper, he married... Miss Addie Fulford from Harkers Island. Oh. And she was so cute. Every time I'd see her, I'd say, Miss Addie, how did you say my mama's name? And my mother's name is Agatha. Mm -hmm. And Miss Addie could say it, the cutest. Well, how did she say it? Do you remember? Agatha. Or, Agatha. You, know, you know how they said it? <laughs> it a little bit different from yeah, everybody yeah. else. Well, and, let's read these names just for the... Uh, W.C. Skinner. Mm -hmm. Now that let me back up a little bit. The commander was L, is that L or I? L. A. a. Newberry, Newberry. Mm -hmm. radio man in charge. Yeah. W.C. Skinner, E.F. O'Boyle. I guess that that's your daddy. Uh, D.B. Bruton, Bruton. Mm -hmm. C.T. Hooper, V.V. Richardson, and W.M. Brown. I wonder. Is that any of our browns? You know? I don't know. It, I just, and I remember my dad mentioning a Bruton because mm -hmm. they used to call everybody by their, by their last name. Exactly. But I don't know anything about them. And um, I don't think I have any. The only picture I have, I want you to see that one, is of the, the men standing in front of the Coast Guard station with their oh, wow. rifles on their shoulder oh, wonderful. for a drill. But, uh, and these are some pictures that I got from the park park uh -huh. service mm -hmm. that was shared with me of the mm -hmm. place where my dad was living yeah, of course, now this is 1917 but that i think they started this direction finder station in ni like 1919 19, 20 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um and it's hard to believe that this station was there because you always think of coast guard not navy right and then this is this is this house is still over there it's in real bad disrepair right now. Sammy Daniels. Uh huh. And uh, some other men rented it. Remember that? Um, Is it still on? The, let's see. What would we call now? I've got a bigger picture in another book of it. I've got another picture of it in in later years. It's in oh, Gaskell Guthrie House. I can't remember. Guthrie Ogilvy House, Luther Guthrie, Setzer mm -hmm. Dalsey House, mm -mm. Oh, well, right. Fishing Cottage Number One and Fishing Cottage Number Two, mm -hmm. Jenny Workers House One and Two, Gordon Willis House. Mm -mm. Those are the other, and the other ones I know is it's not the Casablanca, mm -mm. it's not no Coca Cola House, and it's uh -uh. not Lance and Sally's. See this? They moved this down on, to the shore more. Where, where would it be on this map, Phyllis? <gasps> Probably down, is that, this is the, uh, where is, um, let's see, that's the, that's Lesson Sally's right there. Okay. Because the lighthouse is okay. down there. It was towards the water, like down in here. It wasn't over here, was I don't think, right but I think it was down in there. But like number it, 15. But look seven. how beautiful that is. The sa it's near the Coca-Cola house. Yeah. Might be, yeah. And is then, that the old uh, Coast Guard? It was Coast Guard, but when they, my father was there, the, the Navy men used it. Like, if you had duty tonight, that's where you stayed. I see. And then... Um, and there's a nice radio tower in the back. Uh-huh. And see, this, um, some of this is it. Um, 
I forget which one of these. I've got more pictures over here. Now the only those thing are... left of the of the Coast Guard station does, yeah, is those two buildings right and there. And that right? was that. Maybe that's that house that David Yeomans had. Oh. The Coast Guard uh, boathouse. He's mm -hmm. the one that moved it. Remember? Right. I think it's that one in though, isn't it? It might be one of them. Yeah. Because that looks more like David's house. That okay. one. But um, to me, this is the prettiest picture. Oh, yeah. I don't. It's like a silhouette. But I said, now he's got on moccasins, mm -hmm. and he's got on probably khaki pants, <coughs> and he's rolled got them up. rolled up, and he's got on long sleeve shirt because everybody, all men wore long sleeve shirts rolled up, and he's drinking a beer <laughs> out of a can, and I think, did they have beer in cans back that far? Because this was in 1939. Now, but is that you, your dad? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh. And he's at Miss Carrie's place down on the water there. Miss Carrie Davis. Uh huh. And um, this was a place they loved to hang out. But I love this picture because there's the dock and there's the lighthouse. Oh, you, it's a beautiful you know picture. It's there. Yeah. But who thought of this? I mean, it was beautiful. That looks like a professional. And then this is that. the uh, Odell Cottage, <coughs> Odell Guthrie Cottage. Mm hmm. And then this is my mom and dad. So this is the playing. first place they lived. Yeah, that's the first they place built. they lived. Yeah. And this, they're playing basketball? Yeah. There's a that. basketball hoop on yeah, the cave? Right, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then this is the house they built later on. And see, there's the conch shells. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. But now when the man from Atlanta, Tommy Jones, mm -hmm. shared all that information with me, it doesn't look like the same house. But they said when they went under it and in the attic, it was dry. It was real... Uh, solid. Wow. Yeah. So that's good. Excellent. And this is the back part of it. That's my mom. And this is her sister. Um, they they used to love to come over and visit. So um, She was a tall woman, wasn't she? She was. And that's just a... And what was your sister, your aunt's name? Mary... Mary Catherine Adams Peterson. She married a man from Beaufort. And then this is my mom and dad. I, they're crabbing. Oh, that's a great picture. Those are books. Those are great. And I guess, I don't know what dock that is back there. It looks like little houses at the end of the docks. Mm -hmm. And then that's a picture of the house from a distance. And I have no idea who this lady is with my mother or who these people here are. Of course, that could be my dad, but that's my mom right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says something about uh, this one crabbing, suspenders and cigar. What yeah, my, my dad always smoked cigars back then, and he loved suspenders. Oh, I, I don't see. know. It just, it just struck me. Why, why did yeah. he love, a, love suspenders instead of a belt? Well, that's great. So, and any time my father wrote on a picture, I always said, uh, the little piece of paper I said written by Earl because that's what he put our house, Cape Lookout, November 1939. Very good, very good, yeah. And then this was something that they shared at the park service with me, but this was a picture my dad had. So this was where he, the, he worked. I guess they called it where they sent messages, the mm -hmm. radio shack. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. But these pictures are all there at the Cape the, like, uh, um, Park Service. Park Service, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this so is this the picture is, you're taking. Yeah. Military drill. Mm -hmm. This is the original one. Of course, I've had it enlarged. Mm -hmm. And I put it in the newspaper a few years ago mm -hmm. to see if anybody could tell me who the other gentleman in the mm -hmm. picture was. And I only got two calls. One man had worked with my father years ago, and he said, it was so much fun to see his picture in the paper, I just wanted to call you and tell you how much fun he was to work with. Oh. And I, I can't remember them. I should have written it down. Oh. But I thought, wasn't that neat that he called me and told me about Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And what, which one is your dad? This one right here. And see, I don't know if they're Navy or Coast Guard, but they're standing in front of the Coast Guard boathouse. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a pretty building, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might not be the one that David Yeomans has. Could, he had the smaller one. Yeah, because this one, this one's still there. Okay. And and they used to have play, had a pool table up in the. In oh, the top. okay. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, 
I just think these, it's, and you know, it's such a shame because you'll ask people if you can see their pictures and they'll say, we didn't have a camera, we didn't have the money, we didn't have this, but, but there's so many pictures out there if people would just get them out and share them, right? Because I said, <laughs> my parents didn't have much, but they had a camera. And this oh. is the beast. This was their kitty cat. The beast. Yeah. <laughs> 1941. Yeah. And then they had a Look hand pump one. out in the backyard with a little bench around it. Now, and, uh, that is unusual because I was, I've always been told that you couldn't get water out of the ground there. The really? Freshwater lens was too, too deep there. But oh, really? Look at there. Mm hmm. That's good. Excellent. And this is my mom and Miss Addie Hooper, Miss Addie Fulford. She was the cutest. It looks like they were, they had a little campfire or something. Or they had an oyster roast. Had an oyster roast. Yeah. Because my mama loved oysters, and I know Miss Addie probably did. Oh, and uh, one of these pictures, you can see the lighthouse. Maybe it's not that one. But my mother is hanging clothes out here in this one, and she said, Almost before you got them hung up, the the first ones you put up were dry from the the wind was such oh, a and the and the sun reflecting off the yeah, sand. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow. And then this is the story that I wrote about um, the good life at Cape. Yeah. <laughs> and that was 1997. Yeah. And and you said I I can get a copy of. Oh that. yeah, yeah. Put it with you. With and your this friend. is a picture of the lady. You remember? Um, is her name Royer? She was born over at the Cape. Oh, Miss Young? No, that's not. This isn't her. This is somebody else. This was somebody else. Okay. Yeah, that young lady, she wrote, uh, called me up one time and talked to me. But um, Is that you, Phyllis? No, that's not me. I don't know who this is. I can't remember who shared this picture with me, but it's of um, Cape Lookout. Look at that little girl in the background. She has, it looks like Easter or something. Mm -hmm. She's decked yeah. out. <coughs> She's even got her frilly little socks on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's that's all that I have on my dad's okay. pictures. But I took all of the pictures that they had. <coughs> Excuse me. And I made my own. But this is the same of that card from Christmas. Whatever, card. yeah, whatever year it was. And then I did that one. And this is a bigger one of the place where the men used to stay and of course this is the one with the, the military drill mm -hmm. and then uh, their little cottage and then wouldn't it be fun to find out who this couple was with them mm -hmm. so the the couple on the end is your mom and dad well the ones where I got the air that's my mom and that's my dad oh I got you I got yeah. you yeah because they garden each other that's right. yeah they garden the other people yeah and of course the picture from a distance and then I just had some of them enlarged. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just think nice. it's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, and this is Phyllis. When my ma mama found out she was pregnant, she figured up like two weeks before she was due, mm -hmm. and she moved back to Moorhead to be with her parents. And so I was born at the old hospital in Moorhead. And she said, you know, back then they kept you in the hospital forever. She said when I was 15 days old, she bundled me up, and we went back home to the Cape. And I thought, oh, wasn't that neat? That's pretty good stuff. Yeah. And then this is uh, <clears throat> just my mom and me. And God, I guess cool. laying in a crib or whatever. <laughs> what a wonderful smile. Mm -hmm. And this is more of just the same baby pictures, baby pictures. And then that's my mom's sister again on the back porch. Um, isn't it strange now? They put the hand pump out in the backyard, and um, they had a little toilet, and probably all it was was a commode mm -hmm. in this little room here on the back porch. So when they wanted to flush it, they had to go get a bucket of water from the hand pump. <laughs> Why didn't they put the hand pump on the back porch? You know, I, I thought about that the most, but that was oh. the way they did it. I bet you because they wanted the dirty water far away from the well. Okay, that yeah, could have, whatever, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet you that was yeah. it. And um, looking at these pictures, it's so funny because the front door is 
opens to the outside and the screen door opens to the inside. How about that? Because screen doors back then, remember the screen wire mm -hmm. rusted? Mm -hmm. It rusted real bad. So when it rained, they wanted to close the door. Yeah, they closed it up, closed it up inside the house. Excellent. That is that is great. And what is, is this a, some kind of curtain? It's a curtain. And I've got that material in a trunk upstairs. It was like, um, you took rags and made a rug out of it. Oh, yeah. And it was like a rag, a, a runner, just to, that you put on the yeah. floor. And uh, and they hung that across the back door? Yeah, for a curtain to go into the bathroom. I don't know if they didn't have a real door there or what. Maybe they want to be able to air it out. Yeah, they probably <laughs> needed air, some, a breeze going through there. But my dad said that uh, they had um, these... They didn't have electricity, of course, and no running water, just that hand pump. But he said on the walls they had these little, um, I guess there was some kind of oil you used in for lamps, mm -hmm. and they had, uh, looked like a silver plate on the back, and it reflected Figure. light. Oh. So that was how they got their light. And uh, she had a little cook stove, a kerosene cook stove, and it had an oven on it. Oh. Have you ever seen those little kerosene cooks? I, I have because uh, my parents would bring one out during a hurricane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is probably real dangerous. Yes. You, put the, you, you put the you put the kerosene or uh, is it kerosene? I guess that you cook with. And it's got the worst odor. Mm -hmm. But you turn the glass jar that it was in upside down when you put it in for the stove for it to run down to the. Burner. I think it was kerosene. Yeah, I think it was kerosene. But it has the it's orangey color. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but my father said she could cook the best meals on that that little stove. You see, there's that door again. You can see the screen door on the inside. But I think that's a wonderful mm -hmm. piece of information. That is really. And great. evidently, they had the house painted white, and the the trim and everything was a dark green. Oh, green. Okay. Yeah. I love that. And there's more pictures of my mom and dad and. Well, you know, yeah. these pictures of you on a blanket, you know, are great landscape mm -hmm. pictures. I mean, you know, they yeah. are of you, and, and they're yeah. lovely. But just to see the landscape, I mean, there is there is not a sand dune in mm -hmm. sight. No. There's not a tree no. in sight, or even thick bushes. They're mm -hmm. really scrubby, lowland bushes in the 1940s. And there's sort of a hill back there. But, like, you know Captain Jim over at the beach, Captain oh, yeah. Jim Willis, he says... They're not sand dunes, they're sand hills. hills. And right. I said, you know, it's funny because even like up at Kill Devil Hills, mm -hmm. they didn't call it Kill Devil Dunes. dunes. And right. I thought, what's the difference? I would have said it was a dune. Mm -hmm. But he says, no, they're sand hills. hills. He's funny. I like old Jim. Jim is good. Yeah. Jim is good. I love this little beret you have on. Isn't that cute? Just as cute <laughs> as it could be. And then somebody's little car here and cement this had to have been up by the coast guard, coast guard station, station. Yeah, cement. because there's a lot of cement yeah and uh my grandparents my father's mom and stepdad that lived in maine they came to visit and uh this is pictures of she and i and paternal grandmother is rachel rachel antler chase, chase. from skowhegan maine huh and then this is them sitting on this that beautiful building that I said where the men used to stay. And this is my granddad and me. And, of course, this is my grandmother. And I don't think that was their dog. I think that was just a dog there at the, the Coast Guard station. And more pictures of me. Uh, did you have any brothers or sisters? No, I was an only child. Well, I expect a lot <laughs> so that, more pictures. <laughs> that, that, that tells you all of it. Huh? And somebody had a bicycle. How they rode it, I don't know. But uh, I guess up around, around the Coast Guard Station. And you can see tire tracks here. So the ground was kind of solid, hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And um, here's some more of Miss Addie and my mom at an oyster roast. And you can see the lighthouse way in the background there. Oh, yeah. yeah so I like is. that one. That's wonderful. You can see Mama opening up oyster there. <gasps> cool. But you notice they didn't do it up near the house. They did it out between the sand hills. 
for security, like maybe keep you the know, fire away from the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then um, don't want to be too brave, you know, and set things on fire. And it was it was April. Mm-hmm. They're eating 41. oysters. Yeah, eating oysters in April. Yeah. And this is uh, my dad inside this garden. They had a little vegetable garden, and he put up chicken wire, or sometimes they would use net, old fishing net oh, yeah. that people had mm-hmm. discarded. And you think, well, why would they put that up? It was to keep the animals from roaming in there. Because uh, back then, I'm sure, wasn't there sheep, some goats? Oh, yeah. And probably some horses maybe over there then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there okay. were horses over there. But, yeah, but you know, uh, what? do you remember what kinds of crops he put in his little garden? Never heard him say. But I'm sure it was... Can't tell from this picture. Mm-hmm. Wasn't very big, though. It wasn't. Probably no. maybe um, some collars or something. Well, yeah, and he, 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 he wasn't crazy about collars because him from New York, he, it was like, what's a collar? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you had to... Well, he got a good education. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and it was it was good life. Yeah. Oh, and here she was hanging out yeah. more? more clothes. Now, does she have to... Uh, she had to... Grab them on a rub board? Oh, yeah. She said she used to wash them out there at the, uh, at the, pump. the hand pump. And, and it uh, looks like they've got a base, wooden base yeah, around the little, pump. Yeah, a little bench around it. And uh, there's a, looks like a wash tub there. Mm-hmm. And there's two people sitting there. And there's the beast again. <laughs> he funny. But, uh, and that's it. That's I mean, I've got, like I say, the story that I wrote about uh, them living over at the Cape. That's great. That's so, great. Um, and the only other thing I do, I collect anything to do with Cape Lookout. So I have this, I always collect stuff on that, but you've probably seen all that. This is just old newspaper clippings and stuff that I've collected through the years. Wow. On the Cape. Wonderful. Because it's, um, it's such a beautiful place. I even took this pictures off the phone book. I thought it was so pretty. <laughs> Isn't that uh-huh. neat? That's a good picture. Yeah. That's but um, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I saw one with a with a keeper from a newspaper that that I didn't recognize. Now I, re- I remember that because they called them wikis. Mm-hmm. James A. Newton and his dog. I believe that's a park service. This this is the one. Oh, that's uh, Tony, Tony Simmons. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go see him tomorrow. Are you? <laughs> Well, uh-huh. this is... I expect to hear things that just I have never heard in my life. What year is it? This is 1981. That's how... This is how the, the keeper's quarter looked when I was stationed over there. I had really? To, I, Monday was my day to be out at the Cape. That's uh-huh. the time I was doing interpretive programming and uh-huh. stuff. But there's a sand dune on this side uh-huh. that always blew over. And it was my job every Monday morning to Sweet. move that sand oh, God. dune back. And that sand dune's still there. <laughs> is that walkway still there? Yeah, yeah, the walkway's yeah. still there. In fact, the walkway is, I think uh, one of the things was, the walkway is as long as the as the uh, lighthouse is tall. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, when you look at these older pictures and you see all these, I don't have one in here, all those buildings that were there, it's a shame they're all gone. Yeah, they, they used to be... Uh, a lot of smaller outbuildings. Yeah. And the old uh, lighthouse used to be there, too. Oh, really? The old one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 1812 lighthouse yeah. used to be there. Uh, we've never seen a photograph of it. We have plans for it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, listen, uh, are you up to uh, reading that article and for the uh, my, for the uh, tape and let me uh, turn it over okay uh, because in your own words I mean I think that would be very special okay and I'm gonna turn the tape over okay okay so you're gonna read the good life at the Cape that yeah. you wrote in 1997 yeah okay great okay um, this is just something that I decided I wanted to do from pictures and what I remembered my mom and dad saying and it's not anything like a great story, but it's just their memories and mine from what they said. Okay. My father, Earl Francis O'Boyle, born in Schenectady, New York, on July 6, 1913, was a young radio operator, having been in the U.S. Navy for only a few years when he received orders for duty at Cape Lookout, North Carolina, in May 1938. Cape Lookout, on the southern tip of Corbanks, 
is distinguished by the lighthouse painted white with black diamonds around the exterior. The lighthouse is accessible by boat from Warhead City, either by way of the Beaufort Inlet to the ocean or going in Bogue Sound past Beaufort and Harkers Island through Barden's Inlet. The purpose of the Cape Lookout Direct Finder Station was to give bearings to ships of all nations sailing around Cape Lookout and Cape Hatteras. Affectionately called the Radio Shack, the station was a beautiful two-story white clabbered Victorian house where the single men lived and the married men stayed when they had their turn on duty. At this time in his young life, Dad said he didn't realize that of all the many places he would be stationed in the 23 years he spent in the Navy, this was the best. While on shore leave to the mainland soon after his arrival here, Dad met my mother, Agatha Frances Adams, born at Solar Path on Bogue Banks, April 14, 1912, the daughter of Makaja Adams of Solar Path and Betty Gillick and Adams of Otway, then living in Moorhead City. Mom and Dad were married November 3, 1938, and went directly by the mailboat to live at the Cape, where they rented a small cottage from Odell Guthrie of Marshallburg, North Carolina. After getting settled in the cottage, their only trips off the Cape were from necessity to take care of business or to visit family. The mail boat, operated by Cleveland Davis of Harkers Island, brought the mail and supplies and groceries from a list previously ordered every day. They had certain places for raking clams and oysters, even though at first Dad thought this would be a terrible chore. Mama had fun showing him how to catch hard crabs with a small hand scoop net and sign for clams and dig them with one's toes. In spring and early fall, they would go between the sand hills and build a small fire to roast oysters and clams to eat with crispy fried cornbread. As a young girl, Mama learned how to clean and cook anything that flew or came out of the water and enjoyed cooking many delicious meals on the small kerosene cook stove which even had an oven. These were the times that memories were made to treasure. After a few months, they decided to build their own cottage. The cost for two carpenters to do the work and furnish it from the Sears and Roebuck catalog was $500. The two-room cottage had one bedroom and the sitting room. Eating and kitchen was the other room. Not having electricity, had several small oil lamps with reflectors, reflectors on the back that hung on the wall for cozy light after dark or on rainy days to read by. There was a porch across the front of the cottage and a smaller one on the back with a room at one end with a toilet. There was no indoor plumbing, so the toilet was flushed by filling a bucket with water from the hand pump in the backyard. The hand pump had a bench built around it where Mama washed clothes in a large galvanized wash tub using a scrub board to get the clothes clean. Most days, the clothes dried almost before she had the last piece hung on the line. She had a tall pole to prop under the line so the clothes could get the wind better. Mama's younger brother and sister thought of the times they spent at the Cape as a treat and a great vacation and often invited some of their friends to go for a day trip. When the weather was nice, some of the other couples and Mama and Dad would get together to see who could make the most points and an old basketball net beside the cottage. <clears throat> there were wood planks lying on the ground, sand ground between the cottage and the radio shack, and Dad said he had memorized exactly where they were. So on the nights when he had the late watch, <laughs> he could make a running leap from the front porch. <laughs> I get tickled when I think about that. So that his feet barely touched the ground, even when the moon was bright, he wasn't going to take any chances that some critter might be looking for a good meal. <laughs> he said he knew there was critters around there. <clears throat> Come spring, they would plant a vegetable garden, and to keep roaming animals from tramping the neat rows, they put tall wood stakes around the area and fastened chicken wire or old fish nets that had been discarded to the stakes. Mama kept it neat around the cottage and enjoyed arranging sun-bleached conch shells in the white sand to be displayed at the edge of the front porch. A short distance from the cottage overlooking the waters of Barden's Inlet, Miss Carrie Davis had a small concession where you could buy items of 
tobacco, soft drinks, canned goods, and beer, and catch up on the latest news. Some evenings it would be a treat when some of the locals from Harkers Island would play dancing music, and the couples enjoyed showing off the latest dance step. In nice weather, it was enjoyable to sit on the wraparound porch and visit or just listen to the water lapping against the porch pilings. Mama and Dad were soon to become parents, and two weeks before her due date, she went to stay with her parents on Shackworth Street in Moorhead. I, their only child, was born March 17, 1940, at the Moorhead Municipal Hospital at 812 Shepherd Street. Fifteen days later, Mama bundled me up, and we went home to the Cape. Later that summer, they left me for a few days with Mama's older sister and went to the World's Fair in New York City, where she got her first taste of chili con carne. <laughs> Being unsuccessful in learning the ingredients of this tasty dish, she decided to make a large pot full from what she thought should go in chili. Dad said it was even better than that they had sampled at the fair. Good man. Yep. In May 1941, Dad got orders to a different duty station, and at this time, the Navy closed all the direction finder stations from Maine to California, and so ended the idyllic life and a unique special time of living on a small portion of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I had the opportunity to take Mom, Mama and Dad over to the Cape the summer of 1968, 27 years after they had left. They thanked me for the enjoyable trip, but they were sad because nothing was as they remembered. That's the story. But that, it's kind of sad because you think how precious it was and special, you oh, know, yeah. when it was, when everybody was living there and it was new and it was, it was fun, you know. Well, it was their early married life and they yeah. were happy and their first child and, and, um, uh, they had a cottage at the beach. I know. They and, were eating the best seafood yeah. in the world. And you pay big bucks to go do all these things now. <laughs> I mean, you want a vacation like that. And they knew what living was all about. Yeah, they yeah, sure did. it was. It Gosh. was fun. Um, is there anybody, I, I guess, living that visited your parents over there that might still be alive that you mm -mm. have ever met? Or? The only person I think of is Miss Addie Hooper, but she... She's dead now, and the few times I saw her at Harkers Island, she never mentioned living there. Mm -hmm. um, and I called her niece, um, right off her hand, I can't think of her name, she lives at Harkers Island, to ask her if she had any pictures, because she inherited all, Miss Addie never had children, mm. and she inherited everything, and she said no. But I'm sure there's there's got to be pictures. Mm -hmm. It's just... Sometimes people stick them away and they don't want to go through the trouble of getting them out. Or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. I know. Well, if you think of her name, uh, give me a call because I'd like to talk to her. The last name's something worth. Worth. Peggy. <laughs> Hollingsworth? No. No, it's not Hollingsworth. Peggy. Oh. Uh, she, just, she had a son that died last year. Oh. Oh, that. Okay. 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 You know who I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'll, uh, See, so if that was a sad. Sometimes, sad thing. if people know you better, they might come across loaning you stuff mm -hmm. or sharing stuff, pictures mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. And I don't really think she knew me. Like, um, I think she's kind of sickly. Maybe mm -hmm. I saw her the other day and. She didn't recognize me, mm -hmm. and she looked kind of puny-like. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, maybe she didn't know me good enough to want to well, share these with Well, she's been through, been through a lot, yeah, too, here yeah. the last couple of years, so. Yeah. Um, Hackworth. Hackworth. Yeah, that's it. Um, and maybe somebody in their family might have something, because, mm -hmm. like I said, Miss Addie didn't ever have children, and... Mm -hmm. So her things got dispersed to yeah, everybody who I think she left everything to this niece. Okay. Well, but that would be fun. Wouldn't it be fun to see some more stuff that Miss Eddie had? Oh, yeah. Uh, who had the camera, do you think? Was it your 
father? I don't know. I know my grandparents always had one. The one the grandparents in Maine, mm-hmm. uh, they took a lot of those pictures. Were some probably they took. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they're really nice, nice photographs. As far I just as the wish there was more of the people that was there. You know, the one the ones that were stationed there with my dad. But and there's there's got to be somebody that was there stationed there that his children are still living or grandchildren. Well, I'm thinking those names of those, you know. Yeah. You might be able to uh, put out a call for for some yeah. of those people. Have you seen uh, Mrs. Mrs. Young's? I've seen some of her stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, uh, we're going to copy those things. She left them for us to copy. Did she? um, And I had seen them when I was at the Maritime Museum, Uh and uh, they were just astounding. She was there 42 to, what, 45 maybe? Something like that, yeah. And so, um, do you remember Rex Quinn at the Park Service? He did a a few histories. But when he saw it, he was the first one that introduced me he was working for the park at the time, and, and uh, uh, he did a lot of digging in the archives for the World War II because I, I think it was 85 mm-hmm. when the Navy stuff was declassified, you know, from World War II at the Cape. All the, all the, all the records from mm-hmm. World War II became mm-hmm. declassified so you could do research on them. And uh, he went in there, and, and I think he found some... He found like um, invitations and their menu for Thanksgiving. And oh, Christmas really? And that oh. Kind of and well, I, now what? When you say declassified, what does that mean? They do. Well, when the when the Navy, uh, you know, all their records and stuff are classified. Okay. Up until. Oh, like, okay. How many, okay. How many years yeah. afterwards? Yeah. And then, uh, and then they they purge themselves, so it goes to the um, archives. Oh, okay. In in, in Washington. Okay. And then be- they become public. Yeah. Then. Okay. And um, and so when they de- declassified everything, he went in there and I mean he found some wonderful things. And unfortunately, uh, Rex just died. Oh. Last month. Last month. Was did he live? He didn't live here. He uh, uh, apparently had just moved to Atlantic Beach, and and then uh, but still had a home in Durham. And uh, his wife was a contributor to the uh, Parker's Island Cookbook when he lived down there and was working for the mm-hmm. park service. And uh, so she was real um, active in the community. Mm-hmm. And they had two lovely boys. And I think they had had the girl, they had a baby girl, I think. But, I mean, she was really a baby when I knew her. And, um, well, he wasn't very old. No, he wasn't. He was 57, and he had pancreatic cancer, I believe. And she died before him, the, the, the year before. Really? And don't know what was wrong with her, but mm-hmm. I suspect cancer. But anyway, so there, I think there's a lot out there that we can dig up through the archives. And well, this, with these names that you've given yeah, me. Yeah, that would be neat. These, this stuff that this Quinn fellow collected, is it at the Park Service here? It's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> because he collected it with yeah. research materials in mind. Yeah. And um, I haven't been there to look through what they, uh-huh. they have because um, it's, it's just kind of depressing for me <laughs> because I knew what was there. Will they let you look through it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, um, consistency with somebody who takes care of the cultural material is key to anything, you know, a museum or an archive, mm-hmm. and and, um, and so it, it's been hard with the fluctuating in and out people, They, you know, the, the nature of park service personnel, you know. One of the things I keep saying is, I don't care what library you go in, if you don't know what to ask for, all the volumes and whatever they have in it is not a bit of good. And because you've got to have some idea of what you're going for, what to ask for to get it. Exactly. And I've never been to the archives in Raleigh or Washington, D.C., hmm. but it's like, what would I ask for? I'd probably spend all day trying to figure out what to do, you know. But um, well, you, uh, Do you go online a lot? No, I don't do computer. Let me turn this off. I think we've... Thank you for a wonderful interview. You're welcome. Thank you. 
You got a dress. And you know where I got it from? Uh-uh. Madge Guthrie. Madge Guthrie. Maybe these pictures belong to Madge. Janet, Jeanette Guthrie, Aunt Mariah, when she was young. Was the reason that I've got it, Madge wanted me to find out who it was. Oh, well. well but it's got written it on, on there. Back, yeah. Aunt Maria, Mariah, they called her, I think. Mariah. Mm -hmm. Um. But I can't remember when she died. I've got some of that written down. And who is this chap here? I, I don't know. No name. And these came from where I start over and tell me where they came from. Uh, well, it was when we were doing the Morehead City Cookbook. Mm -hmm. And uh, is, that, is that something written on there? Oh, that's just the uh, photographer. Oh, and I've got that one, too. That's... Uh, Old mommy, they call her. She's sitting right out here on the front doorstep. This is your your house. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's uh. So this is the woman with the really bright printed dress. She, and she's sitting on your. Doorstep. She's kid, old man kid that lived here is his step grandmother, I believe. Okay. Because his the first his mother died, mm -hmm. and then um. He remarried. Um, it's just gonna put this over here. I've got. I'll have to get that out. I can't. I have to have it in front of me. To I tell understand. You well, I'm just kind of springing the gangway in. first. Liberty. How about that? Yeah. Have you showed these to anybody else? Um, One of the other ships in the actually. Squadron. Nobody. You're the first person from Moorhead that I've showed them okay. to because I was. I was thinking of showing them to Carolyn Melky too. I've got that picture. You do? I've got, I've been standing together. I, you... oh, I got it. They were pretending to look at I these I don't know pictures. who these two ladies are, but, but I've got, got that, picture. yes. And that might be her. Um, I big think mama. that's her big mama, yeah. Old, old mama. Old mama. Old mama. And I'm not sure of her. There's a man that lived, he just died in December over there, um, Edward Gillikin. And I got a bunch of pictures from him. I copied them. And then he died. And after I copied him, he said, Would you like all these pictures? I thought, <laughs> and I, he, didn't, he didn't have any order. And I put them in albums for him. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, my gracious, who is this? Look like they've been just been married or engaged yeah. or something, the way that she's holding her hand. I wonder if that's the flower box on the front porch. My gracious. Now, this one you'll know. Oh, that's Jeanette and Kib. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that something? Isn't that a great one of the interior? It is. By Clifton Guthrie, sure. Um, Kib said it was a shame he was so ugly, and I say that about myself to look like I am mad. wonder who wrote that. I think she did because it's. it's oh, uh, Janetti probably mm -hmm. wrote that that she's mad. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at her. She, she's just thinking. Mm -hmm. How about that? My great. And these now, tell me again. I was sidetracked. Well, we don't know uh, who they belong to. That is Kib at the back door of his store. Oh. But it looks like he's got a cigarette in his mouth, doesn't it? My gracious. Oh, yeah, this is in that uh, church book. This is uh, the church crowd from Frank Memorial. Okay. That's a light of um, um, sister. A light of Willis's mm -hmm. sister? And she's sitting on the ground mm -hmm. on the right hand on side. On the right hand the side. And that's uh, Lula, Lula Willis. She's um, she's married to Plymouth. Um, that's Margaret Guthrie, my cousin Margaret. Uh huh. That's Tamer, married Van Martin. She was a Guthrie. Gosh, look at these people. I know a lot of them. I can't. That's um, that's Miss Nettie Merle's mama. Oh, Miss, it is, Miss isn't Hanna. it, Miss Hannah? Miss Hannah. Hannah, excuse me. 
Um, and I noticed you got a Nettie mural on the wall. Yeah. There. I had uh, to get up my yeah. be sure and I that was his hair. David uh gave me that duck sitting over there. Oh. And his mother had done that picture up there. Just oh, she, that was a practice picture. And one day he said, Mommy, you need to give that to Phyllis. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I had I had it framed and then uh, after Miss Nanny died, Hannah gave me that one, and I framed it. Yeah. This is um, Janetti. This is the three children. The, the uh, girl standing up beside yeah. the boy that's seated. Janetti, and this Jeanette. is uh, Vernon, and that's what was his name? Jerry Campbell's daddy. Was he? Um, oh gracious, I can't think of anybody's name. It was Vernon. Leroy. Leroy. Leroy Guthrie. He oh, had yeah. something to do with the taxis here at one time. Yeah. And that's Vernon, the youngest one. Sitting with his legs yeah. crossed on the... And then later on she had Clifton that did the pictures. Clifton. Oh, yeah. so, so he was... That was his family. Yeah, that was his mom. Clifton his, Guthrie's His family. brothers and sisters. His... Oh, and there's gosh. that old... La that's old mommy. I'm sure that's her. Because mm -hmm. there she is again. Right. And see, that's, that's, that's the one I've got. One. Yeah. And I'm... I don't know, but that that one had a that had the back. Yeah, on it. had it written on that one. So that's the parsonage, I think. Oh yeah. Now where is and that that's located? Torn down. Oh, it's torn down. Okay. Um, where was that located? Okay. That's if that's Anne the Street. same one, it's on um, Arundel Street. Uh, right up here on the corner is. Um, no, it's got to be back further. Wait a minute. Well, there's a couple other pictures there. I love the uh, the transom, the round transom, yeah. and then that no, real nautical yeah. porch light. It's just really nice. This is nice. John and um, Janice Lashley's house. Oh, next on the door. Corner. And then there was this, and then there was a there's a brick building here now, but mm -hmm. it looks like there's a house. That house was moved. Mm. That house is on Shackleford Street now. Yeah, but this was on Arundel Street. Yep, across from the church. Yep, and this and it's gone. Let me see. The church is here. No, it's in this block up here. Because John Lashley and and Miss Janice Lashley's mm -hmm. house is on the corner up here. I didn't know where they lived. Miss Janice was my Sunday school teacher for a oh, while. Well, okay, time. yeah, that's that's their house Jeez. right there. And I always thought that was a cute house. I used to plan it in my head what I'd do to it. Oh. It's it's a couple of houses butted together. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was a neat lady. Look at, they must have just put this here because look at the sand. It looks new, yeah. Yeah, but that's gone. Gracious, everything is gone. This must be the back, the back of it, of it yeah. yeah. I don't know who she is. I think it's her birthday. Must be, yeah, and she's out in the backyard before sick. Well, this one's by Dan Wade. Ah. So that might be a different crowd. It could be. Uh-oh. There's the fair. Do you remember where, Is that where the they circle? had the fair? Is that the circle or the... I'll tell you a story. I remember um, George Janet Gillikin and my cousin Danny had an uncle that lived here. He was born to Portsmouth Island, Wilton Gaskell. Mm -hmm. And he and this George, George Janet Gillikin took me and Danny to the fair. I remember the fair being down there next to the Jefferson Hotel. Oh, it used really? to, like a parking mm -hmm. lot there. Mm -hmm. Deanie remembered it being in Beaufort. <laughs> and the time we got there, Wilton would take me on a ride, and the next time he'd take Deanie on a ride, which they switched us. Well, when it came time to ride these, um, it looks like this is those swings, mm -hmm. but I don't see the swings, that you sit in and it goes around, and each time it gets further out and further out and further out, well, when it came my turn to ride with him, and he was huge, he had a, he wasn't fat, fat, he just had a big belly, 
And when it came time, all I could think about, and we were probably about six years old, five years old, and I thought, how am I going to ride on that with him? Because those swings weren't very big. <laughs> and they said he was funny because he loved beer. And he used to go down to the pool hall here on Front Street, and he, they said he'd throw his belly up on the bar and say, fill her up, boys. <laughs> I said, <laughs> it, that's it, just a joke, <laughs> you know, like fill her up, boys. But um, that's my memory of it, being down here, and Dean remembers it being in Beaufort. This one's by Clifton. This must be at the church. Franklin Memorial? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a dinner on the ground? Yeah, thing? but I don't see... See anybody you recognize? Or? There's cars parked there. No, I wish people would have looked up at him when he was taking the picture. They're all looking down. Except him. And all the women have on frocks. Yes, they do. Nobody wore pants back then. And somebody's young in at Christmas, and I just I know think it. we got to get that back to them. I, I know it somewhere. You reckon he favors Dean Steve? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the church. We're getting ready to rebuild, to redo that building over here. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's Kip's store falling down. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And then, you don't remember that store being across the street? The I don't know. I remember, the, oh, I never went inside Kip Guthrie's store. I only went one time. But, but Daddy, when I, you know, I went to Miss Foss's kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And one morning, I just had to have cough drops. I had to have something to suck on. Mm-hmm. And he stopped there, but I never got out of the car. And uh -huh. He went in and got got your cough got drops. Me some cough drops. But uh, well, across the street it was a store. The people lived upstairs, and they had. But I don't remember what was downstairs because I never went in there. But the lady that lived upstairs sold candied apples. Oh. And I used to love them the best. Mm. And uh, I can remember going up there. You went through the the back, on the shed steps at the back of the house, back of the building. You see that guy? Yeah. He's sitting on a drink box turned upside on its side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I thought you would enjoy looking at yeah. those. Oh, and you this, have, you have yeah, given I have, me some uh, information. Yeah, I have two or three of those. Yeah. Um, yeah, Do you want to write down? I'm just going to turn this off now. And, and thanks again. Yeah, you're welcome.